It's Wednesday, folks. Man, this is gonna be a fun day. During the show, it gets crazy in here. <laughs> yeah, you break all the rules. If you think you're laying around all summer, you got another thing coming. I thought you were gonna lifeguard at the pool again. Dude, that job sucked. All of these jobs? suck. The first order of business is to blame everything on the guy before me. Hi, everybody, and welcome to NSS. This is the Reynolds Report. Anton Yelchin's parents are planning to sue Fiat Chrysler for the wrongful death of their son. The Star Trek star died tragically on Father's Day when he was crushed by his 2015 Jeep Grand Cherokee. When Yelchin didn't show up to a meeting, friends went to his house and found the actor pinned by his car to his security gate. An autopsy later found that Anton died within 60 seconds from blunt force asphyxia. It said that the Jeep Grand Cherokee crushed the actor's lungs. Following the news of Yelchin's death, a report was released that the popular SUV was recalled after a faulty gear shift issue that made drivers think their cars were in park. It's suspected that Yelchin had a faulty vehicle and the car wasn't in park as intended, making the car roll onto Yelchin when he stepped out of his car to his security gate. L.A. Law, which ran on NBC for eight seasons starting in 1986, may get a new life through a reboot. Series creator Steven Bochco says that over the years he's been asked to do a redo of L.A. Law, but has always said he has no interest in that. Bochco also lists Hill Street Blues and NYPD Blue among his credits and most recently brought TNT's Murder in the First to television. Bochco says four months ago, one of L.A. Law's original writers pitched doing it again, and now it's in the very early stages of development. Bill Clinton is really looking forward to moving back into the White House, mainly because Hillary won't be there most of the time. Might be time to download Bill Clinton's White House app to keep track. Well, hi, I'm former President Bill Clinton. You probably know that the old lady may wind up being president soon, and you know what? That means she's going to be gone a lot of the time. So if you're a woman between the ages of 18 and 19, download my new White House app. Bill Clinton's new app has a three-dimensional map of the White House with all of the great places for secret hookups, like FDR's private passageway between the kitchen and the Oval Office. Brother, I had me a few days that'll live in infamy in there. The app also has a handy calendar for the entire four years Hillary will be in office with all of the days she'll be gone circled in red just like the light over the back service entrance to the White House (laughs) you said service get Bill Clinton's White House app today remember if Air Force One's rocking don't bother knocking Donald Trump refused to pay a Virginia hotel bill because the room was too hot. Donald Trump not paying due to hot air is like garbage suing a dumpster because it smells bad. Kim Kardashian says she would like more privacy. This from a woman whose gynecologist is on retainer with the National Enquirer. Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan reunite in a new movie. It's an update of You've Got Mail called We've Got Osteoporosis. Yeah, more trouble in Rio for the Australian Olympic athletes. They report that their dorm facilities were robbed when they had to evacuate for a fire. That occurred right after the locust invasion. A new study finds that if you're drinking beer while a song that you like is playing, you'll get additional enjoyment out of the beer. You're also more likely to suffer from the delusion that you can actually sing. People are talking about that skydiver who landed safely in the net with no parachute. Yeah, it's gotten commercial airlines to think about how much time they'd save if they actually didn't have to land to deliver passengers to their destinations. Scientists say that every system using old data for longitude and latitude needs to be updated because Australia has moved five feet in the last 20 years. Some addresses are literally across the street from where they used to be, which explains why Nicole Kidman never gets my homemade zucchini bread. Time for Nobody Gives a f- HBO has confirmed Game of Thrones is ending after season eight. Not because of ratings, but because all the characters will be dead. Hey, HBO, nobody gives a f- MTV turned 35 yesterday, which explains why MTV now only watches VH1. Hey, MTV, nobody gives a f- 
And Johnny Manziel told paparazzi that he'll play in the NFL this year and it'll be with the Dallas Cowboys. That's just in case some of you are wondering if Johnny's still drinking. Hey, Johnny, nobody gives a f***. Thanks, everybody. We have a new episode of the Reynolds Report for you every weekday. Be sure to check out the Being Frank Show, starring Frank D'Angelo, live Tuesdays and Thursdays, right here on NSS.